Hi, you guys. This is Prophetess of Phil Sabrina Acapo, and I am back again, Bill, the leading of the Holy Spirit with another prophetic word for you guys. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy. Telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's mighty name. That I do pray. Amen, 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 amen. Title, you guys, of this prophetic word is Leaps and Bounds, Propelling and Excelling. Let me jump off into this word. Once again, Leaps and Bounds, Propelling and Excelling. You have just stepped off into greatness. So, you guys. I'm lying in bed earlier this morning, listening to messages, and I hear the Holy Spirit speaking, auction in my spirit leaps and bounds. The Lord is further saying, you have entered your new era of sweet and increase, that land flowing with milk and honey. Then the Lord gave me a revelation of jumping over hurdles. And he further stated that he is taking you 10 steps forward. So it's forward forever and backwards never. 1 Thessalonians 3 and 12. And may the Lord cause you to increase and abound in love for one another and for all people, just as we also do for you. The Lord is saying this is happening, this is happening exponentially. And with speed, Holy Spirit gave me a revelation of the propellers on a jet. That circular motion, because that push and pull effect is further saying this actual range of motion is thrusting you into your carryover and even into your crossover season. I'm feeling this right here. You guys definitely tap into the activation of all the anointing and the grace of this word because the Lord is definitely saying something here. Then the Lord took me back to Peter walking on the water and that you are entering into your new quarter. So the Lord is saying step out on faith because you're stepping out by his grace into the new. He will not allow you to fall. He will not allow you to drown. That he is going to lift you. You are propelling and excelling into fruitfulness along with multiplicity. And at the same time, I'm blessing you in your city. And the Lord gave me the numbers, uh, the number two and stated leaps and bounds into double portion blessings have touched down in your life. That's why he showed me the revelation of those money bags falling. I think that was Sunday or Monday. And it just came back to reference as I was providing this word. Won't he do it? Deuteronomy 26 and 9. And he has brought us to this place and has given us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. The Lord is even saying a flow in your gifts. And even leaps and bounds that is causing, once again, a lifting and a drastic shifting. Luke 1 and 41. When Elizabeth heard Mary greeting, her baby leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and empowered by him. This is the time you are leaping into your swiftly. And a, at a quicker and a faster pace. And I hear the Holy Spirit saying, with no line and no waiting. You are propelling and excelling in your vision and your provision. And the Holy Spirit is further said, the steps of a good man 
are uh, ordered by the Lord. And once again, the Lord has gone before you and leveled the mountains. And the Lord showed me a runway. So it's going to be a smooth landing. And today he showed me an eagle gliding to the side. And those wings mounted up. And I hear the Lord say leaps and bounds of abundance through rivers and streams. Because he's placed strength through your lifting of those eagle's wings. And I hear Isaiah 40 and 31. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. Run and not grow weary. Walk and not faint. Isaiah 42, 43 and 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched. Nor will the flame burn you. The three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, came out without the smell of smoke. And unsketched when they were thrown into the fiery furnace. The Lord said, that had been the same for you. Leaps and bounds. awaits you into your new because I've already vindicated as well as rescued you. Leaps and bounds, propelling and excelling. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Don't forget to hit that noti bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. I pray that this word has really gave you a revelation and an understanding of what the Lord is saying. He's provided so many affirmations and so many confirmations of what he's about to do in your life. And the Lord has said you would just walk in faith just like Peter walking on that water because this is your quarter. That you're walking into your new. That you're walking into your next that you're walking into more gifts, that you're walking into more abilities, that you're walking into more creativity, that you're walking into more talents, that it is now happening. That he's put strength in those eagle's wings for you to glide and mount up at higher altitudes. And the Lord is saying he's doing it quickly. He's doing it with speed and he's doing this thing swiftly. And it's time. This is that time. I will do this swiftly. Leaps and bounds, propelling and excelling. You have touched down. This is your quarter is what Dr. Jesus has ordered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you guys. I am always praying for you guys. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see you guys all through to the greatness of success through this carryover and this crossover into God's best. You have stepped into it. You have stepped out of the boat. You have stepped in to your new. You have stepped out of the boat. You have stepped in that water. And the Lord did not allow you to drown. You always know I say just like Peter walking on that water because he chose to walk by faith. He knew that the Lord had his righteous right hands on it. That he had his righteous right hands on him. The Lord is saying that had been the same for you. You have gone 10 steps ahead. Where you were behind, you are now at the forefront. And May is that month of your leaps and your bounds, your propelling, and your excelling. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care. I love you guys once again. And we will most certainly talk on the next. God bless you. Bye-bye.